Hello everybody, my name is Ardendris, and welcome back to Sunless Sea. I'm, we're starting here at the Cons Hearts, after we ran into some trouble at the end of last time, as you can see over here. So, let's quickly go over some things. Last time, it's not here anymore, because, obviously, we finally went out on the offensive, and I'm having some lag, because my computer does not feel like playing ball right now, apparently. But, finally, we could, we went out hunting. We took out a couple of those, like, angler fish and one of those, uh, angler crabs, rather, and one of those, like, metal shark things, and picked up three hunting trophies so we could continue on the bandage cook mission down in, um, the Shalinate. Uh, we also did... I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, went up near here. Oh yeah, I did a salt lion delivery as well, just for a little bit of extra cash. But a lot of the last time was spent looking around, trying to find monsters to fight. Ended up in here, ran into that thing. And we were looking around in like here, because there were like eel things in like this region, but we didn't find any. So we ended up crossing down across like that, and running into a second in the last monster we needed for a hunting trophy, another one of those angle crops here. Then we started going, we started down this way, passing through the Fathom King and through this territory, trying to find a Lauren Fluke, because that's one of the other last things we need before we can actually win, and, and for our last few missions, and, and making it to the Shalinades. Finishing up the Bandage Cook's mission here, who then told us to give him some items, which we already had because we've been saving them up, before telling us to get the Khan's heart to continue on, which we're about to do in a moment. And then we kept going down here for King Eater's Castle, where we still had a mission for the Gnomic Gallivant. I'm not, I'm not sure that's going to lead much anywhere. It, didn't, it seemed like it was building up towards the possibility of perhaps seeing it again, but I'm not sure if we're going to get to so we cut back through here, heading back up towards Fathom King, because we were running pretty low on supplies. And we ran into a Lorn Fluke this time. The problem was, we were out of supplies, and going pretty high on terror. So, we got it down to like two-thirds health, or something like that, and then like pulled into Fathom's King in hopes of getting supplies. And we did, but it also put us at like 98 terror. So going back out to like continue the fight ended up putting us in mutiny and we failed and I reloaded and it was gone. So we didn't get to continue the fight. But that's going to be one of our goals for today, as well as trying to finish up the bench cook mission. This, if we're lucky, might even be the last episode. If not, I think it's just going to be next episode's the last one. I don't think we have much further left to go. But anyways, yeah, after last time, I just started my way up. Managed to get through the mutiny on the first try. Didn't really have to reload it. Mutinies just look like they always take away half your crew. So they always put you in the orange range, which is awesome. But anyways, let's look through here. Can't really do anything because our suspicion is too high. I did manage to succeed the sneaking in mission, but even on a success, it still takes away an iron. But anyway, the Poissonnier requests shore leave and pay and back pay in a form preferred in the Conate. He stands stiffly before you. I will not need long or much. Oh, come on! Why was I not told we needed these? I would have saved these if I knew we needed these, but nowhere on anything was I told we were going to need these. So I guess we're not doing this yet. Fine. I'm assuming we can't continue on until we have those. Whatever. 
So I guess we're not doing anything here, and I'm going to have to look up how to be the best way to get Drowning Pearls. So in that case, need to head back to Fallen London. So I'll bring us back there so we can plan out our next moves. So I'll be right back with you in a second. Okay, we're here back in Fallen London. I've done it, already done most of the stuff here. There's one thing we I haven't done yet that I wanted to say for any of the Roses Wharf, we finally get to do something here. The Rose Market caters to collectors and eccentrics, anyone with exotic taste, and the gumption to harass sea captains. Uh, according to the arcane, archaic rules of the market, you can only make one trade per visit. Choose wisely. People at the Rose Market will pay above the usual price for sp specific goods. Madame Shojana is sp seeking an extraordinary implication. The fortune teller, under her many scarves, sips tea in a quiet corner of the market. She'll pay well for something portentous. Great and terrible. Shoshana holds a mirror over her pot of tea. The steam fogs the glass. As is market tradition, you write your information into the condensation with a finger. When you have finished, there is a rustling beneath her scarves. A wrinkled hand emerges from the silk, and places a fat envelope next to the teapot. For the knowledge and your silence. You've lost an extraordinary implication and you gain 375 echo. Nice. That is going straight towards food. I'm up to 30 fuel. I spent quite a few of our admiral to admiralty favors. I guess we'll buy up to 25 supplies. But anyways. No, buy up to 30. I figured out a couple things. 31, because we're about to use one as soon as we leave port, because we have the food thing, the uh, mouse to feed. But, gotta go over what our plans are, and something I just learned. So apparently, hunger goes up by one point for every two crew members you have, apparently. So when we were down at 14 crew members, I would always go up like by seven hunger units at a time. And I'm assuming now that we rack up to 30, it goes up by 15. I knew it was a big chunk, I just didn't realize the exact numbers. Or every tick, or whatever. I I have no idea what the distance between those is. I actually so also sold a, a few of our stories, specifically the Memories of Distant Shores. I didn't really sell anything else here. All healed up. Everything's in order. So I was looking into how to get, uh, whatever they're called, uh, drowning pearls. I was looking into the best way to get those. And there are two options. Or, actually there's a number of options, but a lot of them are, like, dependent. Or, they're like chance things. We can trade 7 Skintlack for 30 drowning pearls over at Fathom King. We can... Get a chance to pick up a couple drowning pearls if we have the right something await you value over at Nuncio. We can contribute five supplies to the Zeppelin to get uh, seven drowning pearls, which would be enough. But supplies are. We might do that one. Or I guess we get five for submitting fuel too. That costs ten fuel. So five supplies or ten fuel. At the Empire of Hands. E yes. So basically, it's give seven skin to lack to the. Uh, yeah. Get seven skin to lack and trade it over in Fathom King. Or give up a few supplies to the Empire of Hands. Um, I think, well, we're going to get seven skin to lack for completing the, the, the principles end. When we turn in the Lorne Fluke, we'll get seven skin to lack. So I think we're just going to use that. Give it another shot at, give another shot at beating the Lorne Fluke and turning in the reward to continue on. I think that's what we're going to do. We're in a much better position now. So, 
I'm going to start bringing us down towards Fathom's King and getting ready to face down another Lorn Fluke and hopefully win this time. So I'll be back with you as we're sailing down towards Fathom King. Okay, we're just about at Fathom King. I was just going through a small battle with the Pirate Poet, and we got this in a cache of curiosities. An intriguingly lumpy sack. It's probably not a sack full of skulls. Souls. A sad little chain of bottled souls. It is hard to be sure of souls of eyes, but when these ones emerge from the sack into the light, they turn their blindingly questing faces towards you in what seems like excitement, and all at once relax. Disappointed, or relieved. You now have a crate of human souls! We're gonna have to figure out what to do with that later on. But for now, we're down here at Fathom King. We're gonna see if we can get into combat with a Lorn Fluke. I stopped wherever I could to keep Terror down low. Like I stopped at the light ship that drops it by like five. If you picnic at Shepherd's Isle for like five echo, you drop it by three. Pigmoat Isle, you get a supply and drop a Terror by five. So there's a couple places where I just stopped by to keep Terror down as low as possible. And, still, and supplies are still doing good. I'm just hoping that there's a Lorn Fluke right around here. Really hope it's not hidden by that. Hmm. I was hoping you would be right about here. Um. I'm gonna pause for a moment and start looking around. Hopefully, we bump into one. Okay. Finally back. It's legitimately been like 45 minutes. So, it got to the point I was going like complete laps around Gator's Morn, uh, not Gator's Morn, uh, Fathom King. I was running back and forth to, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, the Shalinates, because that's what worked last time when we got it to spawn, when we didn't find it while we were here, and then we found it after returning, after going all the way out to King Eaters and Shalinate. So I started looking up how spawning works in this game. And apparently, things will always spawn in the same points. Like, apparently the Lorn Flukes will always spawn down here or down here. But apparently they're a la rare spawn. So I was, like, searching for almost an hour at this point. But apparently, spawns will always spawn in the same place, like I just said. But will always be reset and recalculated whether or not they'll spawn whenever you load the game. So I had dropped a save here in uh, Fathom King before going monster hunting. And finally, and after almost an hour, I, well, it was about 30 minutes at that point, 35, I started just reloading the save and heading back out, and reloading the save and heading back out. And I started heading out this way and got attacked from this side. Like, yeah. So I tried for probably about 35 minutes just searching for the monster as is, and probably like 10, 15, reloading and coming back out, and reloading and coming back out. So yeah, this thing was not easy to find. But here we go, back into combat with a Luke Florn. A Lu Lorn Fluke. I, how many times am I going to do that? No, not time time for that. This will leave her. Really, don't. Make sure it's following us. Not the time, pirate poet. Um, come on. Got to make sure it's following us. I missed. I wish I could see it. Nope, come back here. I really don't have time to deal with you, Pirate Poet. Uh, oh, come on. This is not what I wanted. Fine, then. I'll take you both on. 
You're the easier target, so you'll go first. Although the Lorn Fluke is more ugh. The Lorn Fluke is more dangerous, so maybe this thing's only good. The pirate poet's only gonna do like five damage at a time to us. But well, we do pick up more supplies. Tale of Terror. Okay. Oh, why'd I do that? Where did this thing go? If it... Where are you? If you disappeared... Oh my god. There it is. Okay. Ooh, I was gonna put my fist through a screen. <laughs> I was gonna put my fist through a screen. <laughs> okay, we've done 120 damage to this thing already. That's pretty good. Oh, why did I do that? I was I need to finish up this firing solution first. I was gonna get a shot off with the oh with the main gun, and then use that to get that ready. Come at me. Uh. Okay, the 10 terror added is only a sometimes thing, which is really nice. Come on. F keep following me. Ow. I think we've got this. As assuming it just doesn't just stop like that. It's going to get a hit in, I think, unless it just stops for no apparent reason. Come on. Stop pulling away like that. Not the time! <laughs> and it's under the water. Come on. Really? I have to... Oh, that's... That's just not fair. I was... I had used this, and it just... Wasted it. Come on. Oh, you're kidding me. You, you're kidding me, right? You're right. You're kidding me. You're just going to keep doing that now. <laughs> We've got it below half health. Really, it reset the Skintalak too? Why? That doesn't even make sense. That's not how the Skintalak usually works. Uh, this thing has legitimately just started cheating. <laughs> I guess monsters don't play fair, but still. Oh, that was a mistake. Come at me. Come at me. This thing's getting on my nerves. Why won't you just die already? Oh, I got too close. One thirty. It went under the water again. Oh, I got. I'm too close. It's under the water again. Okay, this is just not a fun fight. Like, the last fight it was tight, like we had a chance, not a great chance, and then things just went south. This time it just keeps, like, going under the water and making it so we can't actually fight it. Which is not fun. Come on. Come on. Keep chasing me. Keep chasing me. Come at me. No, nope. Too soon, actually. Okay, you stopped. You're dumb. We got you. Gintalak away. Fire. Got it. Oh, wow. No idea. You have no idea how happy I am with that. Turn off the lights, because we're low on fuel now. Examine the corpse of a Lunk floor of a Lorn Fluke. Ugh. 
Its pulpy flesh shivers with the energies of its flailing of its failing language. Already it is disintegrating into the waters. Examine its corpse. Corpse. Dangerous, but what an opportunity. A fluke core. The deliquest deli Deliquishing body is full of incomprehensible organs that collapse at your touch. You understand nothing, and very quickly there is little left of it. But at its center, you find a vast lump of resin or congealed gall, the size of a barrel, flawed with darkness. In the false starlight, it is a deep violet purple. Irigo, your doctor whispers, the color of forgetfulness. The doctor is the... the... yeah. We didn't succeed, but we do get the fluke core. Which just makes me so happy. Like, we finally did it. Technically, I know what's coming up. We definitely need to die for the principal's end, so we have the principal's end finally. We technically could get another one of those. Or the... Uh, the... What's it called? The Bandaged Cook mission? But I think we're going to go with a different option that's going to require just some candles instead. But anyways, I'm going to bring us up to Port Cecil. Actually, I need to stop at Port Th Polythreme as well, because I need to pick up a delivery for the blind uh, bruiser. But I'll do that off camera, and I'll just stop up there in my way and just do the story bit here at Port Cecil. So I'll see you in just a second. We are here in Port Cecil, ready to finish up with the mission here. Well, I'm thinking about something. I was going to... Uh... Actually, I'm just going to open the map here. I was going to do the Port Cecil mission, get the Seven Skin to like that way, and trade that in for the... Uh, Drowning Pearls down here at Fathom's King. And then use those. But if... When I'm... Th when, as I think about it... The seven skin to like is a value of 490 echo down over here in fallen London. So that would kind of be a little bit of a waste, wouldn't it? Considering the five supplies we need here is only worth a value of 100 over in fallen London. It's a little bit more like if I was to buy the five supplies here, like I'm probably going to have to do, is going to be 150. But even still... I think we can also buy supplies over in the Hand of Empires, uh, the Empire of Hands. So I think we're going to stop over there and turn in some stuff there as well, because we do have to uh, pop over to Polly's room as well. But I am going to do that. We need to save a thousand so we can stop at Polly Thream. Wait, no. I said the polythroom a second ago when talking about the Empire of Hands, I think. But anyways. Port report. Mm, let's get into the... Mm, let's gather some skin tlac. We'll get into the main story bits in a second. Three skin tlac for five terror, I think that's okay. We're still at 66, we'll be fine for a little bit. An extra move. As you reach the crossroads in Port Cecil, a voice whispers, Pawn to Bishop Six. A rearing shape the size of a cottage, rather like a mitred bishop, a bishop actually, indeed, stands six yards to your right. A crevice in its coral mouth, uh, its coral side might be a cave mouth. A stronger silver. You squeeze through the crevice into a narrow space like a stair. Irregular steps lead down. The silver light is strong here, and it grows stronger with each step downwards. The pulsing of the principles. Silvery light fills the sea cave, dripping from the walls. It condenses to pools of whitish fluid on the uneven floor. Sea sound fills the cave, strong and slow, like the long beating of a heart. On a square stop of coral, someone has set up a game of chess. The pieces are different than, from the ones used in London. You see the spiraling bishops, the corner roots, the cane, and the terrible cream. As you touch each one, a deep voice whispers its name. Give the principles the fluke core. Oh, my cousin, my enemy. I was of their kind before I began my descent. Now you see me as I am. But I would be so much less. I would dissolve on the waves like old foam. Help me end. 
kill my emissary, but not until we are ready. Here is your skin to lack. My emissary recalls how it burnt. See him flinch. No matter, he will end when I do. Now your secrets. These sea lords you slay, they give of themselves for the drowning feast. Kneel and I will whisper you a fragment of the recipe. You've gained a secret, you lost a fluke core, you gained seven skin to lack. And so the sudden fluke core quality is gone, a minor piece, you gained two terror. The last game. I will miss chess most when this is done. The black waves, my children's glows, let them pass. But oh, my sweet diagonal, it's time, afraid I find. Quickly, the board awaits. The emissary, trembling, takes his place across the board from you. He will dissolve with me. The principals tell you consolingly, it's for the best. You must win the game. Defeat him, and he and I will end. I will leave treasure. Hurry, my thoughts grow burdensome. At the end game, the quarrel is changing. Win the match. The principles will be reduced, as it desires, to a mindless hump of coral. The outcast stands trembling behind the board, ready to enact the principal's moves. Its mind will be destroyed with its masters. Or lose the match. You are enmeshed in an alien scheme. Perhaps you mistrust it. Perhaps you pity the outcast. Whatever your motives, you will throw the match on purpose, leaving the principles trapped in consciousness, defeating the purpose of this whole quest. We've got to win the match. Move and counter move. The pieces click and hiss on the board. The victory is easy. The emissary whimpers and topples his own kin. He begins to melt like snow in a desert wind. Skindalak slows, slaws from the roof, gathers around you in a great shining drifts. The voice of the principals washes over you, like the Z, urgently chanting secrets. For everyone you hear, another two are lost to the grinding of the rock, or incomprehensible to a mind that has not laid centuries, who has not layered centuries beneath the waves. But you learn and learn. Your brain is bursting with knowledge. Now the voice of the principals falters, it is gone. It subsides into happy mindfulness with a last melodious sigh. The outcast face blinks at you from its puddle of goo, and then it dissolves too. A wakeful idol which sat on your chest on the chessboard now squats by your feet, eyes bright. The principals had suggested that it would become more. When the principals when the principals became less, it seems a little taller somehow. You now have one vigilant idol. No idea what that's for. You no longer have the Nacreous Outcast, you gain 12 Skintalak, you gain an Apasayan chess piece, 4 lumps of blue Skintalak. You may use this for the Alarming Scholar will certainly purchase this. And Memory of Distant Shores. Nice! If you have no other use for it, one of the chess addicts certainly will. So we could sell that if we wanted to. I'm assuming we can't sell any of that stuff here. So we got quite the haul here, didn't we? But most importantly of all, we, as I scroll all the way down, have witnessed an eldest's end. So that really just leaves the butcher, the, the, the cook, that really just leaves the cook and winning a 21% chance on uh, the Merciless Modest. Ooh, the Vigilant Idol is a mascot. Four mirrors? I think we'll stick with our five hearts for now. Okay, we can't even talk to... Well, we could speak to our Blumigan if we wanted to. But with that, I think our time here in Port Cecil is done. Um... Hmm. If I buy up to 30 of each, yeah, I'll be fine, and then I've got plenty of stuff to sell to make up for it. So. Hmm. Yeah. I think to the point where money might not even be a major issue. But. 
onward to polythreme and the empire of hands then i'll just skip polythreme and just go through some of the empire of hands stuff maybe not even all of it just like at this point we're not going to see the entirety of that storyline i think we're just going to give over a couple of things get our reward and come back out towards the cons art i'll be back for that in just a second we're pulling into the empire of hands would just like to note just now got up Got the pop-up saying we discovered the Empire of Hands. Oops. Why doesn't escape get out of the page? Empire of Hands just now showed up on the map. Despite the fact we've been here like three times before. So that's a little silly. Also, before we actually get to the story we need to do here. This game is rude. We have five lumps of blue skin to lack. Why can't I fill up all five spaces? Just like... Okay, fire all guns. 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 Okay. By that time, this one would probably be reloaded. Okay, I understand why the game doesn't let you do that, but it's trying to take something away. I have five of them. Why don't they all work like that? <laughs> then anyways, Port Stanton. Shore leave. Pile of port reports. Sure, why not? Anonymous with the civilized mayor. The Zeppelin. You don't have permission to visit and bring supplies. The guards allow you through. Many monkeys are working on the Zeppelin. Many more are feverishly pretending to, banging nails into blocks of wood or smoothing out, sm uh, smoothing out smooth cloth in an attempt to convince their overseers that they're helping. The Zeppelin is not complete. Unlocked with five supplies. Contribute supplies to the Zeppelin. It will be a long journey. The monkeys will need many supplies, both to survive it and to establish a new home. The delivery is made. The monkeys pay you for your goods. You will receive a reward when the entire Zeppelin has been completed. You lost 10 supplies, but the Zeppelin gained... You lost 5 supplies, but the Zeppelin, Zeppelin gained 10. You gained... Empire of Hands Wild Wield status, and you gain seven Gerani Pearls. Okay, so that's good. I think that's enough to, well, for what we need. I guess we'll do Shore Leave here. Buried treasure being buried? Deep in the forest, an important looking ape in yellow robes oversees two lesser monkeys as they dig a hole in the ground. Evan dropped a strange-looking idol into the pit and, covering it up, one scrapes a deep X over it, while the other slides a map into a bottle, corks it, and scampers off to throw it into the Z. Curious? However, any treasure hunter who may find the map and follow it here will be out of luck. We gained an outlandish artifact. Yeah, that is pretty outlandish, isn't it? Um... Hmm. I'm trying to think if I want to do some of the story here, if I just don't... Mm. I could do a little bit of story. Okay, let's do a little bit of story. I could travel to the court, the village, or Fountainhead. The Kenvils always have a seat at the table, and the lost treasure hunter has much to trade. Ancient tombs and buried treasure await on this island. I'm worried about terror a little bit. We'll... Splash, 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 splash. The sound of the wars would almost be hypnotic if your arms weren't burning so hard with the twist the effort. Is it the camp, I guess? Speak with the delightful adventuress. She prepares to make a run on the vault. A flustered circus mistress. Oh, it's you? Oh, of course. Help me with these blasted maps, would you? The monkeys are quite clueless. She shakes her head. They claim our souls uplift them, but if you ask me, it's just a case of monkey see, monkey do. Can you believe they think that Zeppelin of theirs will let them create a new empire? Wait, you there, take that out of your mouth this very instant. This very second. Let's go to the vault. Its secrets still await you. Monkeys sit idle, waiting for instructions. You stand once more before the imposing stone door. I think we've read that bit. 
outside the vault. The delightful adventuress consults papers while her clay man Barnabas and a small crew of variably hard-working monkeys try to force open the doors. Hi, yo, you're here, she calls. Do pick him up, a crowbar, there a dear. There's a dear. A bit of elbow grease should do it. Right, on the count of three. Muscles, human and primate alike. Strain is the delightful adventuress harries everyone along. Finally, with a crack and a screech of triumph and exhaustion, the doors slide open. Inside is just blackness. There, now chop chop, everybody, declares the delightful adventuress, striding into the dark with a personal glim lantern. Behind her, her monkeys collapse to the ground, gasping, occasionally stolen words and squeals of protest escaping into the air. Once again, oh, the lack of candles leaves us out of any cool stuff. Guess we leave, then. Treasure hunt, we don't have a map. Let's head over to the village. We're not going to deal with the candles. A journey to temptation. The lost treasure hunter, that's going to end up with us wounded. That's going to end up with us wounded. I have no interest in either. Is this going to end up with us wounded? Return to the boat? A smooth, easy trip. Your arms are beginning to get used to the rowing. Okay. That could have ended up with us wounded, apparently, though. And I guess we might go to the courts? A visitor in courts. The silent gallery. The chandelier of souls. Okay, so a whole bunch of monkeys want our soul. I don't feel like giving up the soul. Let's go. Maybe we've already done that. I mean, no, we haven't. A cacophony of Pentecost Abe swings across ropes and ceiling beams in a cramped sea of sweat and malice. All are locked in an endless feud for souls and status, with scarce few, scarce few uh, having much else to call their own. The Silent Gallery. While the Emperor sleeps and feasts, the ex exquisite Sunny Shell coordinates the Great Exodus. You are granted permission to enter. The silence is a pleasant slap to the face, sweetly scented with incense. Inside, the exquisite Sunny Shell moves between clusters of mandarins in their yellow and red robes, using her experience to not so much give orders as offer advice on what the Emperor would wish. I uh, can't do anything there. I guess since we don't have any candles, there's nothing else to do here. Because we're not giving up our soul. I don't feel like that. So. I guess we head back to Khan's heart. And then. Depending on how long that takes. On to Fallen London and we'll end there. Because we have time for a little bit more. I think. So I guess we're down to Khan's heart to do the story there. And we need to return to Fallen London to sell some stuff, bring our terror down, and get some stuff going. Actually, it might be better terror-wise to go to Fallen London now. Ye yeah, let's head back to Fallen London to get some stuff in order, then we'll head over to the Empire of Hands. So I'll be with you in just a second. My one <laughs> We're obviously not quite back to fall in London. We still have a little place to go. But something slightly confusing just happened. I was getting ready to bring us in like a minute ago. Cause I thought we were about to go into mutiny. Like we got three in like quick succession, three nightmare events. Each gave us like seven, five, twelve terror. We were up at like 95, 96, 97, I think was our highest point. And then all of a sudden, just 10 terror got subtracted. No idea why. I got attacked by a jellyfish thing and killed it. Uh, so maybe there's some hidden thing there? But just randomly lost 10 terror when I thought I was going to have to come back in to tell us about a, a, a mutiny event. 
but it just didn't happen. Which I'm not going to really complain about, but it's still confusing. Avoid the maelstrom. I have no idea if we're going to make it back to Fallen London before hitting 100. The closer we get to Fallen London, the slower we gain it. Okay, that thing's going to be an issue. Wait, no, Pigmoat. We're over Pigmoat. Yay! I'll bring it back in a second. Aha, I did just figure something out. I There was another jellyfish thing here, so I killed it and it dropped Terror by 8. That's nice. I didn't know that was a thing. I would have killed more of those things instead of just running away from a whole bunch. I, I don't... Is that all monsters? Like, if you kill a bigger monster, you get a, do you get a larger minus to Terror? Or is that just like the jellyfish things? I have no idea. I wish I'd known about that sooner. I wish I'd gotten any information like that from this game at all. Instead of having to figure out all of that by myself. Yeah. There, this game has some flaws. I've enjoyed it. It's definitely been a lot longer than I wish it could have been. Uh, obviously, this isn't the last episode. That's more than likely going to be next time. Like, I think at this point, the odds of next episode not being the la last episode are, like, slim to none. <laughs> like... All we have left to do, really, is the bandaged cook, and a 21% chance we need to make once. And I don't really think we have that much longer on the bandaged cook. Like, we need to bring over those drowned pearls we just got over to Khan's heart. Over to Khan's heart. And then he'll unlock the last, I think, what is the last part of his storyline. And then we can bring him over to the, uh, what's it called? Uh, bring him over to Fathom King and we'll be done. That will be the last thing. I'm just trying to talk over some of this. So, I, I guess we'll save, like, final thoughts on the game for next time. But... I guess now would be a good time to start talking about what comes next for the channel. Like, hmm. for Clayman. I'm sort of paying attention to the game, sort of not. I. So, hmm. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have anything like concrete. I have a one-off video planned for the day after tomorrow for, yeah, tomorrow is going to be the last episode. I have a one-off video for the day after that. I have a couple more, like, visual novels I've just, like, picked up off itch.io that I might, like, go through, kind of like I did with Hit Stop and Purgatory and, um, uh, Witches X Warlocks. I have a couple of those lined up. Not really sure which one I'm like settling on. I think I'm gonna do like one of them and maybe save the rest of them for like later on. And then I sort of have some ideas for what might be like an actual series. Like I have a few games on like like Epic Game Store that I've picked up for like free across the last few years and some other stuff just hanging around. Oh, we have a little present from you. Yeah. Ooh, we get 800 for one. That's nice. Yeah. I've been thinking about putting together, like, a little Minecraft mod pack just to, like, have fun with. Kind of have an idea of what I would like with that. That's a whole bunch of two. Not that really matters much. But I think could probably have some fun with something like that. But I'll buy fifteen of those. We have the funds, and I have no idea if we're actually gonna how many we're actually gonna need. Hold on to seven of those. But 
yeah, we're starting to get into final bits of this game. Thinking about what's coming next for the channel. While we're here, we're probably not returning to Fallen London until we've won at this point. So whenever we give the ser whenever we give up the serpent, we're gonna need a better engine to we're gonna need another engine to replace it. Um, I guess we'll go with this one. We have some extra funds, and I don't. We're gonna need more fuel for like travel. Uh, we're gonna need money for fuel and supplies. But I think yeah, we'll do that. And, yeah, I think that's everything. Hmm. Probably should have noticed that. Sure. 105 echo for once again. Like, sure, that's okay. But, yeah. I think that's everything we have to do here. Yeah. This is a pretty good place to end it off. Next time, in what is going to be our last episode, almost 100%, we are going to stop at Con's Hearts, do what we need with the cook here, which I, 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 I hope I didn't miscount and mi or misremember how many drowning pearls we need for that. That would suck. Anyways, we're going to do that gonna head over to the mangrove college because i actually do know what happens next and we need something from here although we could fight another fluke if we wanted to like we're gonna get a choice there and then yeah we go down to fathom king and we turn in everything we already have as well as going through that 21 percent yeah that's just gonna be a thing so yeah this is a pretty good place to end it off next time we're just gonna hop bump bump Bum, and just, I think we return to London after that, and then we win. So, I want to thank you very much for watching as we approach the end of this game. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care everyone.